I'm Zor. Welcome to Union Zor Education. Um, this is problem number five um, about complex numbers. And the problem actually is, uh, it's kind of an arithmetic exercise, if you wish. Um, if you have two different complex numbers, A plus BI and C plus DI, where A, B, C, and D are real numbers, I would like to represent this result of this division as a complex number with X and Y real numbers. And the question is, how can we do it? All right, well, let's just do it together. I never tried, quite frankly, to do anything like this, but let's think about how can we do it. Well, obviously, the result of division is um, uh, supposed to be, uh, is supposed to satisfy the multiplication of the uh, uh, denominator and the result. So x plus yi times c plus bi should be equal to a plus bi. When we are saying that this should be equal, it means real part of this should be real, equal to a, and the coefficient um, in imaginary part should be equal to b. Well, let's just open these parentheses and see what happens. First of all, the real part would be x times c, and yi times di would be y times g times i squared, and i squared is minus 1, so it's minus yg. And that would be my uh, real part of the result of this multiplication. Now, imaginary part would be coefficient in uh, with, with i will be c times i. Oh, sorry, c times y. c times y. And uh, x times g. And that would be e. Equal to a plus b, uh, b i. OK, so we have a real number should be equal to real number. And this real number, the coefficient with uh, i, should be equal to b. So basically, we have a system of two linear equations uh, with two different uh, unknown variables, x and y. So let's just write it down as, as such, and we will see what happens. So x, c minus y, d should be equal to i, a. And um, x d plus y c is equal to b. I have changed the order of these uh, two variables just to have x and y meet it with one after another. OK, how can we solve this equation in the simplest way? Well, with linear equations, it's quite simple. Um, let's say you multiply this by c and this by g and add them up, what happens? So this would be multiplied by c, this would be multiplied by g, and then we will add them up together. Obviously, y, g, and c will be uh, y, c, and g with opposite signs. So y will disappear when we will do this. And we have only x uh, equation for x, and that's exactly how we will find out what the x is. So if we multiply it by c, it would be x times c squared. And this multiplied by g would be x times g squared. And that's equal to ac plus bg. ac, bg. That's the result of this, from which we conclude that x is equal to ac plus bg over c squared plus g squared. What's interesting, by the way, obviously, any kind of a fraction um, does not exist when the uh, denominator is equal to 0. And this particular denominator is equal to 0 when both c and d are equal to 0, which means in our original example, a plus b i divided by c plus d i, if c and d both are equal to 0, it means we divide by 0, which is no, no, right? So basically, our formula is correct exactly when our division is correct. So if neither, uh, if, if c squared plus d squared is not equal to 0, it means that both together are not at the same time equal to 0. And that means that the denominator is not 0. So that's quite fun. 
All right, so having done that, let's just change it slightly and get rid of x from the same two equations. How can we get rid of x? Well, the same way, actually. We multiply this by d and multiply this by c. So this will be xcd and this will be xgc, which is the same. And then we will subtract one from another. Let's say from uh, the second, we subtract the first one. So x disappears, and we will have here um, y c square. Now this is minus, but we subtract, so it will be y d square is equal to b c minus a d. From which we conclude that y is equal to b c minus a d over c square plus d square. And again, notice that in the denominator we also have exactly the same thing. Uh, c square plus d square, which means it's correct whenever we divide by something which is not equal to zero. So that's the answer. So this thing is equal to, uh, let me start from this, bc minus ad divided by c square plus d square i plus ac plus bd divided by c squared plus d squared. So that's the result of the division. So we have divided two complex numbers, and we got the result, a complex number, which has the real part calculated using this formula, and the imaginary part calculated using this formula. That's the answer. And Again, what's very important is that both left and right part are valid when uh, one of the C or D not equal to zero. If both are zero, this is invalid, and all these are invalid. So we have the same kind of a domain where both formulas are defined with the same set of C and G. Thank you very much. That's it.